Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so I just want to kind of do this one quickly before lunch. Um, I was planning to do it a little bit sooner than this, but the uh, the scene that I'm writing in the chapter that I that I started this morning <laughs> is, a, is a bit of a is a bit of a worm, which is a little bit hard to take. Uh, well, well, you kind of need to take breaks from it, but at the same time, you also want sort of the flow to keep going a little bit. Um, See, so yeah, I guess this one today is going to be about writing challenging or emotional chapters and I think I think emotional chapters probably more than anything else um so the chapter I wrote yesterday was one of those chapters which it I it, it made me cry <laughs> made me cry when I was writing it. it made me well up whilst I was editing it um but you know yeah, sometimes there's just this, I don't know, I know what it is, I think you have to, in order to get the emotions across that you really want to get across, sometimes you've got to sort of dig deep into those emotions yourself, and I think, and then, and then that sounds like weird, but sometimes you've got to kind of think the lines over and find the ones that will make you cry the most. <laughs> Certainly when it's certainly when it's sort of like the dialogue side of things, I think if you're having a, a character give a particularly emotional speech and you've got to be in the head of that emotion when they're sort of saying whatever it is they're saying. Um, at the same time, that can then be kind of a little bit hard to sort of pull yourself back from and steady yourself off. And, then, and, and, the, and the, like, the really annoying thing with this particular one is it's affecting me quite a bit um despite the fact that i i knew it was coming um and i've known since like pretty early on that this was sort of the direction things were heading in um and things sort of sort of took this sort of interesting this interesting twist because uh all four of the books that I wrote for their own little series, for which this is a spin-off. <laughs> so that's spun off from the narration that this is spun off from that. Um, so the last four books have all had positive endings, reasonably positive endings, not necessarily 100% happy endings because there are things going on in the background which are not necessarily 100% resolved, or things going on in the background that aren't necessarily 100% positive. Um, definitely for the first definitely for the first three it's sort of a both happy and it's, it's sort of a mixed ending and then the fourth one is more of a more closer to being a happy ending even if there's still like little bits of uh, little bits of everything up in the air um so with this one i i was kind of like oh okay maybe i should return to form and go a little bit more towards a less happy ending um, or at least sort of a bittersweet ending um a la the colors i see in hyena boy when you get those very bittersweet endings um rather than necessarily having a a definite positive one um so i i, I sort of had in my head most as I was sort of like building towards these certain points that I would uh, I would resolve things in this particular way and then I found myself a little bit more invested in the in the relationship and a little more like how how, how? I know this has to happen this can't not happen but how do I make a happy ending? <laughs> Given this setup, I think it's going to be not going to necessarily be a hundred percent, one hundred percent definitely happy resolve. Just by the way that I figured out how to resolve my major issue. <laughs> um. And it, it definitely, it, it's definitely an ending that I'm going to be looking forward to, to writing once I get through the, 
tough emotional bits have to come beforehand, um, which is what, as I said, that was definitely yesterday's chapter, and it's definitely the first half of today's chapter leading towards things taking a taking a little bit of turn um, towards the more positive, but sort of leaving on an uncertain cliffhanger. And that's my aim for where this chapter is going to end today. Um, and depending on how long all these scenes actually end up being, I may take it a little bit past that, or I may just finish it on that point. Um, as I said, it all really depends on uh, on how long how long each of the the other scenes that I need to sort of work through. Um, when I say scenes, it's probably like two scenes in you know, it might even just be an entire chapter of the same scene, depending on. Um, Obviously, depending on how things go and how things sort of flow and, and how I can get things sort of rolling forward from here. Um, but yeah, the events that I know need to happen before this bit happens, I'm not entirely sure at this point in time if it's going to be, if that's going to be like the full chapter and then you get this bit at the end and like it's sort of like, clear, yeah, and you read on to the next chapter from there, or if that's actually going to come through a little bit faster than. Um, take a lot less pages than I'm thinking it's going to take and then you get the, the shift on um, sort of towards the end of the chapter you get a little bit more uh, uncertainty or <laughs> it's definitely going to be uncertainty just by, just, just, just by the nature of um, how things are, are plotting out and then I've got two chapters <laughs> and I've got two whole chapters to resolve everything towards a sort of happy ending <laughs> Um, to be fair, because the relationship in question is sort of questionable in and of itself. And I was like, well, I need to work out a way of, of making it less questionable if I want to sort of lead towards that ending. But at the same time, I don't know if people would be happy with that. So obviously my wonderful, wonderful Jade um, is reading this poem as she has been reading the rest of them. And I did sort of, I did sort of ask her, um, I, I basically outlined the three different kinds of endings that this could have, the sort of, the, two, the, the, the sad ending and the bittersweet ending, which were my two sort of, I'm not sure which ones of those that I wanted to have, and that's like, but I also think I can get this one to work. <laughs> uh, which one of the three would you feel would be the best result for this story? And she went, I want the happy ending. I was like, is that because you actually are invested in this relationship? And she was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, they, they, they have good chemistry. And I'm like, okay, all right. If she is like, no, they, they have to end up together, then that's sort of taken a little bit of the worry away from me, provided I can get everything to work the way I want it to. Um, I, I do have my plan going forward for how I'm going to get it to work. It, it yeah, it will, it, it'll skate. <laughs> it'll skate. <laughs> I, I, I'm hopefully I can get it to work in a way that will satisfy the romantics reading this one. Um, and it, it's yeah, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a weird one for me because this isn't the first time I've been like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely killing off the character. I usually find a way of bringing that character back. Not always. Not always. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like, okay, I, I know this character has to die, that has to happen, 100% has to happen. Can I still, within the way that this particular part of the canon and the law and, and everything that's going on in this one, it, can I get this? Have I got the tools there? to bring a happy ending to this somehow um and i do will require a little bit of sacrifice on behalf of the main character um and it will level the playing fields a little bit 
um, which is needed in order to make this relationship viable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it yeah. Um, and it's not very often. I'm like, I I need to rethink how how this story is going because I I think it would be too much to yeah to to go with a, a definite negative ending on this one because yeah yeah uh, I can't help it there is there is a bit of me I think with all the time I spent in lockdown that just wants some happy endings <laughs> but at least I know at least I know once this project has ended I've got a week before I still don't know when my first shift is but I, I do have a bit more information about how everything's going to work and there is a good chance I'm probably going to work on that first day but there's also just a, a good a chance I'm not going to be working on that first day so I imagine I'm going to be working on like the second day that's that's what I imagine <laughs> like right at this point in time it's like yeah I'm not, I'm not going to be on the first day I'm going to be on the second day <laughs> just because of the information that I know um Unless they have me in for like a really short shift, which is possible, but yeah, no. Um, but yeah, it, it's, uh, I'm going to have a little bit of time after I finish this one before going back to work. And because there's not going to be enough time for me to start another project, if like my projects were like 19 chapters long, um, I feel like I can, I can definitely go, okay, I'm, I'm still going to be working in this universe, I'm still going to be editing these books. But I don't have time to be writing another project right now, so I'm still going to have my sort of head in the game without actually necessarily writing anything. I can focus a little bit more on um, my morning writing so I can get that a little bit further ahead. Um, I can do a little bit more editing work so I can get that a little bit further ahead and I can do some review work um, because I don't have time to start another project, basically. Um, and hopefully I can convince myself of that. <laughs> I mean, so far I've got like mm, I've got like like possible ideas of doing like a companion one to what I'm writing now, but at the same time I'm kind of like, nah, nah. I I think I can sort of have this as like a one off for now, and just because I know I don't don't have the time to write another one, I think that's gonna that's gonna really help with this and as I said I'm not leaving the universe because of all like, because of all of the editing and stuff that I'm going to be doing for all the other books that I've created for it so far. So if if an idea for something else in the timeline comes to me, then great, fantastic, that's that's fine. But at this moment in time I'm like, yeah no, this this feels this feels like a good finishing point. Um for all the mad writing that I've been doing recently. Um, I plan to, once I finish this one, actually get the stats for, for how much writing I've done in lockdown. Not not like in total in total because I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to tell you um, how much of the giants that I wrote um, during the actual lockdown itself, which is what I did to, to sort of begin with, but I, I will definitely give the stats of the five books that I have started and finished. Um, and that will be in next week's vlog. Um, because I'm, I'm writing chapter 17 now, and as I've told you guys before, all of these like 19. So as you can see, I'm 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 gonna be finished fairly soon. But yeah, no, once once I have, I will give the stats for all these books. I'll post it on my Facebook group, I will post it on Twitter, and next week's vlog, I will give them to you as well. Um so yeah, if you're if you're interested. Now, and to be honest, I'm kind of interested, because <laughs> like, um, because I can I can see like the word the current word count for the one that I'm I'm currently working on, and bearing in mind there are still two and a half ish chapters left to go, um, is already on. Is it ten thousand nine? No. No, because that would be 9,000 there. Um, so it's on 109 for 72 words, whatever that equates to. Is that 100,000? 
I don't know. I don't know how you'd say that. I really have no idea how you'd say that. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a good link. That's what I'm saying. It's a very good link. Um, and that is just the one that I'm working on now that hasn't been finished yet, and actually isn't as long as like a lot of the chapters are probably on the shorter side compared to Toby, where a lot of the chapters are kind of on the longer side. Um, so yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to find out what the average page total is for each individual book. Um, what the average uh, chapter length is for each individual book, and what the average word length is for each for, for the books. Um, yeah, so look forward to that next week. <laughs> this has been this has been an interesting time for me. Interesting time. Um, and yeah, I'll be as as you can tell, I will be going back to work. Not this week coming. Um, the week after. But I won't say any more than that because I I said that half the day my first shift. Yeah. All right, okay. So I'm hungry, so I'm going to wrap this one up here. I hope you guys are looking forward to finding out what my stat stats are next week. Uh, <laughs> no idea what my blog will be about. Probably about all the work that I've done. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to hearing about that next week. Um, I. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!